We want to solve the given equations and round to two decimal places. The first equation is 6x plus 6.3x equals 7.5. The first step is to simplify both sides of the equation. Notice on this equation, we have two like terms or two x terms on the left side that we can combine. We combine the like terms by adding the coefficients. 6x plus 6.3x equals 12.3x, giving us 12.3x equals 7.5. The last step is to multiply or divide to isolate the variable, because 12.3x means 12.3 times x. To undo the multiplication and isolate the variable, we divide both sides by 12.3. Simplifying, 12.3 divided by itself simplifies to one, one times x is x, x equals 7.5 divided by 12.3. And now we need to find this quotient and round to two decimal places. So we have 7.5 divided by 12.3. The first step is to make the divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right one place. And now we do the same to the dividend and move the decimal up into the quotient. Now we treat the quotient as 75 divided by 123. We begin by determining how many 123s are in 75, which is zero. And therefore we can now add a zero to the right of the decimal point in the dividend here and determine how many 123s there are in 750, which is six. Six times 123 equals 738, and now we subtract. 750 minus 738 is 12. Because the 12 is less than the divisor, we know the six is correct. We add another zero and bring it down. And now determine how many 123s are in 120, which is zero. Zero times 123 is zero. Subtract, the difference is 120, which again is still less than the divisor. We're asked to round to two decimal places, so we have to go out to three decimal places to round correctly. So we add one more zero and bring it down and determine how many 123s are in 1,200, which is nine. Nine times 123 equals 1,107. We subtract and the difference is 93, which again is less than the divisor, and therefore the quotient is correct so far. But we can stop here because we're asked to round to two decimal places, and the zero is in the second decimal place. The digit to the right, the nine, indicates we round up, and therefore x is approximately 0 0.61. Let's take a look at the second equation on the next slide. The second equation is 3.3x equals 2.1x minus 7.7. .7. This equation is different than the first equation because notice how the like terms or x terms are on different sides of the equation, which means the first step for this equation is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. And let's isolate the variable terms on the left by undoing the positive 2.1x by subtracting 2.1x on both sides. Simplifying, 3.3x minus 2.1x is 1.2x equals on the right, this difference is zero, we now just have negative 7.7 .7 on the right. And now I multiply or divide to isolate the variable because 1.2x means 1.2 times x, we now divide both sides by 1.2. Simplifying, this quotient is one, one times x is x, x equals negative 7.7 .7 divided by 1.2. And now we need to find this quotient and round to two decimal places. So we're gonna have x is approximately, notice how the quotient is going to be negative, so for our division, let's just do 7.7 .7 divided by 1.2. First step is to make the divisor a whole number. Move the decimal one place to the right here, and in the dividend, and then up into the quotient. We begin by determining how many 12s in 77, which is six. Six times 12 is 72. We subtract, the difference is five. Notice five is less than the divisor. Add a zero, bring it down, 
determine how many 12s in 50, which is 4. 4 times 12 is 48. Subtract. The difference is 2. Add another 0. Bring it down. Determine how many 12s in 20, which is 1. 1 times 12 is 12. Subtract. The difference is 8. We need to go one more decimal place to round correctly. So add one more 0 and bring it down. Determine how many 12s in 80, which is 6. 6 times 12 is 72. Subtract the difference is 8. The 1 is in the second decimal place, and the 6 to the right indicates to round up, and therefore x is approximately negative 6.42. Don't forget the quotient is negative. I hope you found this helpful.